Hello, church family and friends. Welcome back to day 22 of our 40 days of praying with Jesus toward church revitalization. Today, we're going to be in the book of Matthew, chapter 23. Apart from Christ, serving others humbly does not come naturally. It is the supernatural work of God in a believer's life. In yesterday's scripture focus, Jesus reprimanded his disciples for their unabashed, competitive glamoring for greatness among themselves. Today's scripture reveals an even harsher rebuke from Christ about the scribes and Pharisees, the appointed leaders of the Jewish religion. Now, pause the video here. And read Matthew 23, verses 1 through 12. Matthew chapter 23, verses 1 through 12. In chapter 23, verses 2 and 3, the Word of God says, The scribes and the Pharisees have seated themselves in the chair of Moses. Therefore, all that they tell you, do and observe, but do not do according to their deeds, for they say things and do not do them. Those who are worthy of being followed lead others by their own example of humility. They do not strive for their own honor, but to honor others. Those who practice such a lifestyle have earned your confidence. Follow their lead as they follow Christ in the process of church revitalization. Paul told the Corinthian church, Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, our church family often has differing opinions about how to address all of the areas in our fellowship that need your renewing touch. Please unify us around the cross of Jesus and by your sovereign grace to follow those whom you have appointed to lead us through this challenging journey. Help us to walk in love, just as Christ also loved us and gave himself up for us. Do not allow a single word of criticism or filthiness or silly talk or coarse jesting escape from our mouths, but only the giving of thanks and words of appreciation for those who are guiding us to follow you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.